So randomly Star Wars decides to drop the final season trailer for The Bad Batch. And oh my god, it's like everything I've ever wanted. I'm telling you, this trailer got me so hyped for a show that's actually coming out just next month. We heard nothing about The Bad Batch season 3 or the final season for the longest time, and now we're getting it next month, and they drop this insane trailer with the return of Asajj. Ventress. This is huge in so many different ways, and I'm going to get into that. So, guys, hit that subscribe button. Join us on the road to 1,000 subs. It would mean the world to me. Let's get into this trailer. This trailer is really emotional. It gives me the Clone Wars Season 7 final season vibes. And we see tons of different characters ranging from Captain Rex, Cody, the Bad Batch, Omega, Cad Bane, and of course, Ventress. I'm someone who really enjoys the Bad Batch. Season 1 was good. Season 2, in my opinion, was even better. And I think Season 3, the final season, is going to be the best. I'm glad they're only doing three seasons here and they kind of know when to stop because that means that they have a very particular story they want to tell in this last final season. And with the characters involved, with the characters that we already know and love, I think they're lining it up to be an all-time great. We also get to hear Ian McDermott return as Emperor Palpatine, setting up events that may lead to the sequel trilogy. We know we've seen clones and things of that nature in The Bad Batch. We know we've seen it in The Mandalorian and other shows. There's cloning going on. Maybe they're going to explain a lot more. And I'm hoping by the end of Bad Batch, we don't see all of our Bad Batch characters, you know, die. With Omega being related to Boba Fett, I think it would be a huge missed opportunity to not have them meet in live action. Spoiler alert, with the death of Tech in the last season, which is so heartbreaking, I have a feeling that some of them are going to live and are going to be brought into live action, hopefully? I mean, anything to see Tamara Morris and dressed up as different clones, that would be great. But let's get into the big elephant in the room regarding this trailer, and that's the return of Asajj Ventress. Now, before I get too deep into what I'm about to say, I have read both Dooku Jedi Lost as well as Star Star Wars Dark Disciple, which goes into the story with Quinlan Voss, who we now know is still alive from the Kenobi show, and the relationship with Asajj Ventress. They have come out and said that they're going to kind of honor the story of Dark Disciple, and I don't know what that means because of what happens in the book. I'm going to go into the book and specifically what happens at the end, so spoiler alert for Dark Disciple. Quinlan Voss and Asajj Ventress have a relationship. Asajj Ventress turns to the light side and gets a yellow lightsaber. However, in an effort to save Quinlan Voss's life from Count Dooku, Asajj Ventress gets the Force Lightning and doesn't make it out alive. With her being alive in this trailer, does she get resurrected with some sort of Night Sister magic? That would be awesome. Or are they going to retcon it in a way where they're going to tell the same story but in a different timeline? Kind of like how they did with the Ahsoka book, having the meeting with Darth Maul be kind of different than it was in the show in the book. Personally, I think it would be fantastic if they just kept the book completely canon and resurrected her after Count Dooku used the lightning on her and then with Quinlan Voss being alive hopefully they get to meet again. In my opinion this is very very exciting stuff and with all of the characters from the Clone Wars this is kind of the last season of television from Star Wars at least that we're getting from this sort of Clone Wars storyline. There are rumors that we're going to be getting a Tales of the Jedi season 2 as well as a Tales of the Sith but this seems like the end of the episodic series-based Clone Wars animated shows. This last season of The Bad Batch is supposed to be 15 episodes long, which is great because we're going to have Bad Batch to talk about all the way from February to May, right before May the 4th. So if you guys want content surrounding The Bad Batch and everything Star Wars that's going on, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and join us on the road to 1,000 subs. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot, and I will see you very soon.